Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Dr. Lee and I come from Bukit Matajam, Penang. And uh, right now, I'm staying in Luang Johor. So, um, I would like to start straight away, directly. Uh, the last homework I gave you uh, during my last video. As you can see on the board here, we are still in this chapter, Forms of the Verb, which is uh, Lesson 17. Okay, um, I will directly go into this. Every day, he closes. So when you are talking about every, every morning, every afternoon, every evening, every day, I, you, we, they, don't put S to the verb. In this case, verb, the verb is close. But he, she, it, yes, you put S. So he closes, but I close. Now he is closing. When we talk about now, I am, you, we, they, are, he, she, it, is. And then you put ing to the verb. Now he is closing. Now I am closing. Now we are closing. Now he is closing. Yesterday he closed. When we talk about yesterday, is in the past. So when we talk about past tense, we do not care. We do not worry whether it is I, you, we, they, he, she, it. We do not worry about that. We just change the verb to the past tense. Already he has closed. When we use already, I, you, we, they, we use have. H-A-V-E. He, she, it, we use has. After the word have, after the word has, we use a past participle. A past participle is the, is the third the third position of a verb. Close, closed, closed. The third one. So the third one is called a past participle. Already he has closed. Already I have closed. Tomorrow he will close. When we talk about tomorrow, he, she, it, and then you, they. Altogether five. Altogether these five, we use will. After the word will, we use the base form, close. But I and we, every day, I mean tomorrow I shall close. Tomorrow we shall close. Tomorrow um, I will do. Tomorrow we will do. So for, to, for tomorrow or the future tense, I and we are very special. For I and for we, we can use shall, we can also use will. Will and shall are the same meaning, but then um, we can only use shall for I and we. After the word shall, after the word will, we must use the base form. The base form means to say the original verb. When you don't put S, you don't put ED, you don't put ING. Every day he opens. He, she, it, you must put S to the verb. I, you, we, they cannot put S. So, every day we open. Now he is opening. For now, I am. You, we, they are. He, she, it is. And then you put ING. So that means uh, every day he is opening, every day, uh, uh, sorry, now he is opening. Now I am opening. Now you are opening. Yesterday he opened. Yesterday is the past tense, so we do not worry anymore who it is. I, you, we, they, he, she, it. We just put um, the past tense. For open, the past tense is opened. Put ed. Already he has opened. When we use the word already, we mean to say the action has taken place, but we do not know when it happened. We can only see the result. So, I, you, we, they, we use have, H-A-V-E. He, she, it, we use has. After the word have, after the word has, we use a past participle. Past participle is the third position in a verb. Like here, open, opened, opened. The third open is called the past participle. And uh, tomorrow he will open. So the future tense tomorrow, I and we, we can use shall, 
we can use will. For example, tomorrow I shall open. Tomorrow we will open. It's okay. But you, they, he, she, it cannot. You can only use will. You cannot use shall. So tomorrow he will open. Whether it is will or shall, it must be followed by the base form. The base form means the original verb. No S, no ED, no ING. Every day he visits, when we use every, I, you, we, they cannot put S. He, she, it, you must put S. So he opens or he visits or he goes. But then, I, you, we, they, I visit, no S. Now he is visiting. When we use now, I am, you, we, they, are, he, she, it, is. And then put ing. So now I am visiting. Now we are visiting. Now he is visiting. Yesterday he visited. Yesterday is the past tense. We do not worry whether it is I, you, we, they, he, she, it. We just put ed. We just change it to the past tense. Already he has visited. When we use already, I, you, we, they, we use have, H-A-V-E. He, she, it, we use has. After the word have, after the word has, it must be followed by the past participle. The past participle is the third place of a verb. Visit, visited, visited, the third place. And this third place is called the past participle. So, already he has visited, already we have visited. I, you, we, they, we use have, H-A-V-E. Tomorrow he will visit. So, tomorrow is the future tense. When we talk about tomorrow, I and we, we can say shall, we can say will. Tomorrow I shall visit, tomorrow I will visit, both are correct. But then, you, they, he, she, it. We can only say will, we do not say shall. So tomorrow he will visit. But whether we are using shall or will, after the word will or shall, we use the base form. The base form is the original verb. When you cannot see S behind here, no ED, no ING. That is called the base form. Alright? I'm sure you understand. It's clear. Your next homework would be here. Just try and see what happens. Okay, the next uh, video we can discuss. And uh, the very reason why we are doing this uh, exercise as revision, actually this is a new program. It's called the Dr. Lee's Method Revision based on 38 days grammar challenge. Based on the time 2020, the end of 2020, I published this book. And I uploaded not less than 60 videos of the whole book. Every exercise inside this book, I did, you know, I taught in my YouTube channel. And um, after finishing that, I decided that I will uh, do it one more time. But then, the questions in this book and what you see here are not the same. They are not the same. So it is revision of the topics, but the questions are different. So this book, you can see there are, all together, there are 38 chapters, 38 topics. And I follow the topics here. Now we are at lesson 17, topic 17, forms of the verb. So I follow, because it is revision, I follow accordingly. But as I mentioned just now, the questions are not the same. They are not the same. Okay? And um, I'm actually preparing you for my level 2. Coming up soon, level 2. Okay? And now I have uh, three online classes, speaking, grammar, make sentences. This week is already the fifth lesson, lesson 5. And this, um, this online course will finish... Um, on the 10th lesson. So all together 10, 10 classes. Now we are at class number 5. Okay? 
and we have already started as you can see here the fifth lesson now my new online classes will be after Hari Raya Idea Fitri 2021 after this so when the Hari Raya finishes I will start registration for the new online courses and yeah if you want to join the new online course you have to um, whatsapp to me 019-7878-299 if you want to buy this book level one we still have stock so if you want to order this book whatsapp to me 019-7878-299 and i will arrange for the books to be sent to you all right so i hope to see you in the next uh, video i hope you enjoy today's video and uh, till we meet again Remember to give me a like, share and subscribe. So until we meet again, goodbye.